This list focuses on food and drink in particular, though not exclusively. To be precise, you're eating bugs, bones, and hair. Here are the top 10 animal products you don't know you're using. Number 10. Crayons. Animal products can be used in crayons. In reality, the stench of stearic acid, refined beef fat, is closely associated with the freewheeling fun of coloring. Stearic acid is a coagulation compound, which means it aids in the proper solidification and consistency of crayons during their paper peeling lifetime. Stearic acid is often used in candles, which are a waxy household staple. While some plant-based products, such as coconuts, can also be used to make stearic acid, the process is more labor-intensive and therefore less cost-effective. As a result, animal rights groups advise customers to believe that the stearic acid in their candles is derived from animals. Number 9. Cigarettes. Castorium is extracted from the territory marking castor sacks of beavers and used in a wide range of pre-rolled cigarettes. Beavers are euthanized and their paste-filled castor sacks smoked or sun-dried until they resemble dried figs to obtain this product. You may wonder why would you put something from a beaver's butt into a cigarette? Well, it's all about the taste. Castorium, which is often used in fragrances to invoke leathery notes, gives cancer sticks a sweetness or an obnoxious enhanced smokiness. Philip Morris, the founder of Marlboro Products, is said to have flavored 400 billion cigarettes with castorium in just one year. A Swedish drink named Baversnaps is another niche product that uses castorium freely, rather than calling it a natural flavor. Castorium is made by soaking it in high-proof alcohol, which absorbs the taste over time. Number 8. Red candy, gum, jams, syrups and pretty much everything that is unnaturally pink or red in color. When you eat raspberry Italian ice, strawberry hard candy, or cinnamon-flavored gum, what animal product are you eating? It's all bugs, don't worry. Red cochineal beetles, when dried and crushed, create a powder called carmine, are found in such foods. Carmine is commonly recognized as a highly effective colorant in food applications. Carmine is often used in cherry-flavored syrups, raspberry jams, and a variety of red-tinted drinks, as well as a variety of dairy products. Carmine has long provided an additional advantage to food manufacturers, since it is essentially pulverized bug, it can be labeled as all-natural. Despite the ambiguity of the ingredient, many regulatory bodies, including the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, now require carmine to be identified on labels. However, if you think that avoiding reddish foods will save you from ingesting insects, you're mistaken. If you've ever eaten hard or shiny candy, you've probably eaten a lot of shellacs, a form of bug excrement. The gunk is a resin secreted by female lac bugs on trees in southern Asian forests. It is collected, refined, and sold as dry flakes, then dissolved in alcohol to create a confectioner's glaze. Most rough or glossy candies are covered with the substance. Number 7. Capsules. If you have a headache, choose the remedy carefully whether you're a vegetarian or vegan. Gelatin, the main ingredient extracted from animal skin, bone, and tissue, is commonly used to make capsules for both over-the-counter and prescription pharmaceuticals. The main explanation for this is gelatin's structural versatility and natural compatibility. In layman's terms, gelatin-based capsules are easy to sculpt, compatible with a broad range of pharmaceutical ingredients, and strong enough to avoid moisture intrusions during the product's specified shelf life. So, in general, gelatin capsules can endure the various stresses that an oral dosage delivery device is subjected to. Gelatin capsules, in particular, trigger a cultural tension for people who avoid eating animal products. Some Indian religions, for example, demand vegetarianism, which has sparked a long-running pharmacological controversy in the country's thriving pharmaceutical industry. This problem was a driving force behind the production of HPMC capsules, which are starch-based vegan-friendly alternatives that perform similarly to gelatin-based equivalents through the rigors of initial formulation, product filling, and various supply chain environments. Animal parts can also be used in other pharmaceutical products as binders, fillers, and colorants, which are inactive ingredients. Animal-derived additives can also be used to stabilize vaccine formulations, which vaccination opponents are well aware of. Number 6. 
Condoms Although most condoms are made of latex, which is derived from plants, most condoms also contain casein and glycerin. Casein is the smaller of the two culprits among most people. Casein is a milk protein that aids in the smoothing and thinning of rubber condoms. It's usually applied when the latex is still liquid, giving the solid materials a smoother, more versatile appearance. Casein is also responsible for the characteristic sour odor of most latex love gloves. However, while casein is derived from animals, glycerin is frequently derived from animals. Glycerin can be obtained from vegetable oils and is used in a number of items, but in most pecker protectors, the animal version is used to provide enough lubrication. Glycerin is also used in toothpaste, moisturizers, shampoos and conditioners, detergents, shaving creams, and a number of cosmetics. Number 5. Jello. It's delightful, it's all jiggly, it has a semi-translucent appearance. Since the mid-17th century, people have been eating some kind of what has become the world's most popular pre-made dessert. In fact, traces of gelatin discovered in a pharaoh's tomb indicate that it was most likely produced and eaten in ancient Egypt. Jello is a widely generic brand name for gelatin, similar to Kleenex for tissues. Gelatin is derived from the Latin word gelatos, which means frozen jelly. Gelatin was once considered a symbol of prosperity, far from the simple diner-style dessert it is today. This is due to the fact that, prior to the invention of prepared gelatin, only the wealthy could afford the kitchen help needed to render, explain, and prepare it for use in ornate salads and sweets. However, although gelatin was once fashionable, it was never suitable for vegetarians. It was first mentioned in Western civilization in 1682. Englishman John Evelyn identified the development of a jelly made of beef bones during a demonstration of the first pressure cooker. Jello is also made from animal bones and skin hundreds of years later. It's made from decomposing animal skins, boiled crushed bones, and cattle and pig connective tissues, among other things. Vegetarian gelatin desserts, on the other hand, are commonly available and made from plant-based gums or seaweeds like agar or carrageenan. Number 4. Worcestershire Sauce Worcestershire sauce has been used as a marinade or condiment for anything from steaks to shellfish to shepherd's pie for nearly two centuries. It was created in the 1830s by two chemists in Worcester, England, and is more complex than most of its culinary counterparts. Indeed, the most well-known brand Leah and Parents, named after its creators, is still produced there today. A lot goes into making Worcestershire sauce, which has a special flavor profile that mixes tangy, savory, sweet, and salty. A vinegar base is flavored with a mixture of sweeteners and seasonings, such as molasses or sugar, tamarind, onion, garlic, chili pepper extract, soy, salt, cloves, lemon essence, pickle juice, and anchovies. That's right. Worcestershire sauce is umami, which joins salty, sweet, bitter, and sour as the fifth flavor in 1990, is the same ingredient that most of us refuse to consume on pizza. Umami is a meaty, savory helper flavor that deepens supplementary flavors, and it roughly translates to essence of deliciousness in Japanese. Anchovies are fermented in vinegar for around 18 months to make Worcestershire sauce. Number 3. Beer and Wine Do you have an alcoholic problem? Well, after reading this, you may. Isinglass is a gelatin-like material made from the dried bladders of freshwater fish like sturgeon. It's a form of collagen that's commonly used in the fining or clarification of different beers and wines. The same gunk can also be cooked into a paste for gluing applications, which gives you a better understanding of what we're dealing with. Finings are substances applied at or near the end of the fermentation process to beer, wines, or certain non-alcoholic juice drinks. Since Isinglass is particularly useful in the production of cask-conditioned beers, it is widely used in the United Kingdom. On the other hand, is a concept more closely associated with winemaking. Prior to bottling, insoluble materials such as dead yeast cells, bacteria, tartrates, proteins, tannins, and fragments of grape skin, pulp, or stems are removed. Isinglass speeds up the settlement process in both situations, reducing the time it takes to eliminate unwanted insoluble. It essentially speeds up the manufacturing process in an area where time is often money. 
Vegan beers and wines are readily available for those who don't want to actually drink fish while drinking like a fish. Number 2. Bagels. This is the world we live in, Panera Bread Company, a well-known restaurant chain of over 2,000 outlets in the United States and Canada, confidently declares on its website that its bagels are made without bird feathers and human hair. L-cysteine, a dough conditioner extracted from all-natural, all-disgusting sources, poultry feathers and both hog and human hair, is used in many processed bagels and bread items. Synthetic L-cysteine is possible, but it is an expensive operation. Several big U.S.-based chains have reported that L-cysteine is used in all of their bagels, including Dunkin' Donuts and Einstein Brothers. Hair and feathers can also be used in Pizza Hut's garlic bread, McDonald's honey wheat rolls, cinnamon rolls, and apple pies. Lenders, the most popular grocery store bagel brand, is free of L-cysteine, which is good news for food shoppers. Many large-scale bread brands, on the other hand, cannot be said, so patronizing a local baker is your best bet for avoiding hair and feather care. Number 1. Sugar. Do you have a sweet tooth? Then you may be chewing among other things teeth. Bone char is a porous, black, granular substance made by charring animal bones, most often cattle. It is primarily used for filtering and decolorizing a variety of sugars and is made up primarily of tricalcium phosphate, calcium carbonate, and carbon. The bones are sold to dealers, who in turn market them to the sugar industry in the United States. Many forms of sugar, including brown sugar and confectioner's sugar, contain bone char, which is freely used by prominent U.S. producers and suppliers, including the country's most well-known pizza brand. Bone char, as effective as it is at filtering out some impurities, is poorly discolored, so the whiter the sugar, the more likely it was to be used in large quantities. The United Kingdom, the European Union, Australia, and other developing countries have largely phased out bone char in sugar processing, demonstrating once again how extraordinary America is.